Hi, I'm Race Rodomra, owner and founder of Star Creatures Holistic Fitness Retreats. And I'm here with my two friends today and I'm really excited. Uh, Ritza Hoops, owner of Our Highest Good and the original fun facilitator or the facilitator of fun. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, thanks. And I'd also love to introduce to you Babs Robinson, who is our Hooper Extraordinaire Supreme visiting from Canada and she's also a YouTube star and you're running workshops all over the country at the moment aren't you? Correct. Yep. You're loving it's it? It's been fantastic. Oh so awesome. Well welcome. I'd like to um, start by um, <clears throat> just announcing the um, soon release of my up and coming book called uh, Fit and Chilled Out The Alternative Fitness Culture and um, that's the whole reason that we've organised this interview today. So it's very exciting that we're also um, having a video as well. Um, first thing I wanted to talk about was um, that, you know, you're both amazing, successful high flyers in your, in your art. And, um, you know, that comes across in everything that you do. Um, I'd really love to hear about how um, cool the hoop hooping community is and why it's so aligned to the alternative cultures. Yeah, I think one of the reasons why it's still sort of in the alternative culture is that's where a lot of the exposure has come from, where like festivals and music events where is where a lot of people first see hula hooping is already at a sort of an alternative lifestyle event. Yeah. Um, but, you know, hula hooping is so awesome because it's very inclusive. You don't have to fit into a certain mold to be like a hula hooper. Yeah. Uh, you know, you don't have to dress a certain way or you know fit into something that is mainstream um it's also a really good creative outlet there's no yeah. with a lot of exercises or sports there's sort of a right way to do it and with with hula hooping there is no right way and there's no wrong way it's you know you can be yourself and create your own movement yep yeah absolutely and that comes through in the different styles that you guys have got too it's one of the things i love about it it's sort of i guess also quite dance based mm. so if you like dancing it's mm. kind of like a, a dance partner if you will right so, okay yeah. i'm also really keen to know uh what kind of special gift you guys bring as teachers and coaches as well um i really love sort of helping people tune into what makes them unique in what they do in their life so i'd love to hear about what it is that you've been put on this planet to do individually um, that you can give to your students that um, is, is your special gift to them. Okay, for me, from as young as I could remember, I was asking my parents questions about the meaning of life. Were you? <laughs> so as soon as I had the opportunity after high school, I started various meditation classes, Tai Chi, uh, lots of things in the Eastern education area yep. and spirituality. And so I was a natural therapist for 10 years before I started hula hooping. And then I realized that it is a meditative tool as well because mm. you've got the repetitive movement, you're the center of attention of the hoop. And so now I teach hula hooping and meditation in one class. Right on, awesome. Yeah. So okay. that's my unique gift. Absolutely, to the yeah. <laughs> Perfect union. I yeah. Think so. yeah, awesome. I have been putting out YouTube tutorials for quite some time and yep. that's sort of where I've found my place in the community is as a teacher and mm. um, as I mentioned, hooping can be really creative and I've created my own moves, if you will, mm. and putting that out and sharing that with the community and everybody in the community is welcome to do that as well. It's not like only certain people can come out with things. Um, yeah. But through my tutorials, I really put my own flavor into my tutorials. And, you know, we don't really, most hula hoopers don't, don't take themselves too seriously or take hula hooping too seriously. Right. It is a plastic circle. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it is like a child's Beautiful toy. Beautiful plastic circles. So it's Sparkly. Really, yeah, about play. And when I teach workshops and classes, I really, you know, like to remind everybody that you know we're just here to have a good time yeah. and play. Yeah. So I like to inspire people mm. through my own 
um, expression. Yeah, and that you do. Yeah, and people know when they watch your tutorials that they're also learning stuff that is a world first as well, which must be really exciting for you students. <laughs> so um, as you guys know, I really like to support my retreat guests to find fitness fun in things that they absolutely love doing. Um, with a view to being sustainable for the rest of their life so that their fitness is just sorted out. It's not something that has to be painful or hard. Um, and yeah, through knowing you and through watching both your videos, um, I can see you both look amazing and you've both got that beautiful sparkly aura and you obviously love what you're doing. The minute that you start, your faces just light up and you just look mm. beautiful and in your element. Mm. So. What I'd like to share with everybody is um, your opinion on the physical fitness, specifically the fitness benefits that people can get from hula hooping um, across the board. It can be up to the person how hard they want to work mm. and you're definitely getting the cardio workout with um, keeping the hoop going. You can vary mm. the size and weight of the hoop so when you go for the lighter hoops you have to move your body more to keep it going. Okay, Whereas right. Whereas when it's the big heavy hoop, it's got a bit of its own momentum. Yeah. And that's also good for beginners, so it does have <clears throat> its purpose. That's one way you can vary the workout. Yeah, so that's the cardio part, but then there's even flexibility because um, so that you can do um, some varied tricks, you want to first um, do some stretching because you're going to be moving every part of your body. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many things you can do on your feet, on your hands, your neck. Mm. Some people are doing it on their hair, on the bun. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, oh, it's yes. Just, it doesn't stop. So, yeah. Wow, I love that. So it's flexibility as well as cardio. <laughs> okay, cool. I would say coordination. Mm -hmm. It's really, and I've heard this from other people, where it's increased their cord, their hand-eye coordination mm -hmm. dramatically. Whenever people, somebody else drops something or somebody throws something at me now, it's like, <laughs> <they're> like <laughs> nice catch. I'm like, who is this? And just mobility in your joints because mm. you're moving in all kinds of different ways. Yeah. So, um, also just increasing body awareness. Yeah. Mm. Lots of, you know, those like weird hard to tone muscles. Yeah, women, absolutely. Women get, anytime you're, you've got a hoop in your hand, you're utilizing those muscles as mm. well. Uh, it's quite full body mm -hmm. um, because you know, you're not just hooping on your waist, mm. you'd be hooping on your chest or your shoulders or you know, elbows and mm -hmm. depending on what you wanna, if you wanna work on something like mm -hmm. specific muscle groups, you can find specific hoop movements that mm. really target those as well. Mm. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so yep. cardio with weight loss, uh, coordination, mm. um, also just the mind body. Yeah. Really, it's pretty hard to have a bad time inside of a hula hoop. <laughs> you were saying, yeah. yeah. You hand yeah. anybody a hula hoop and as soon as they start, they just like, you just watch this yeah. smile spread across their face. Yeah. It's really fantastic. Yeah. You just feel really good. All right, well, thank you. Um, it's been awesome interviewing you both. Thank you. It's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Mwah. Yay, take one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like doing this, okay? <laughs>